Hey, what's going on guys? Lag here, and thank you for joining me today for a Neo 2 build video. Alright guys, in today's video I would like to showcase my katana belt. And starting off, these are my stats as follows. Alright, so let's go to my weapon starting off guys. Alright, so starting off with my current katana I'm using, and actually the best one I feel for this particular setup is, to, is the uh, Tukage Maru. And, of course, this is a uh, katana. Also, bear in mind, guys, this is a 170 weapon. And if you do not know how to acquire 170s in general, um, there are they are random drops. And I acquired a lot of my 170 uh, items as soul cores from um, uh, level sync missions. And I just basically soul match those soul cores with this weapon because it's a corrupted version. And you can, in case you didn't know, uh, soul match soul cores with corrupted weapons. Therefore, that's why I'm at 170. Anyway, getting back to why I'm using this particular katana, the reason I'm using it is mainly due to the second bonus. Now, this bonus didn't necessarily play a part in the demonstration I was using against the uh, bosses fights, the boss fights. Um, but in general, the way this works is, is as you're just playing, it gives you an increased attack bonus with a 41% chance of happening. Um, in my experience, when I played with this, like I was just doing a uh, Twilight mission before I made this build video. And it seems to proc every other enemy I was killing, like, you know, as if it was uh, 50%, so. Alright, for your second weapon, guys, you uh, ne don't necessarily have to use hatchets. I'm just using these particular hatchets, um, you know, just to mess around with. You can use a secondary weapon of your choice. Um, also, I am using the Coil Snake hel Helmet. And 4-Piece Tatanashi. All right. Actually, I want to show you guys something also. Let me uh, go back here to the status sheet for a moment. Now, as you can see, guys, if you take a look up top, um, where it says active skill damage, that's a pretty high number. And in case you don't um, know how I got that, I'll be more than happy to share that with you. So simply I'm using a different clan this time and that clan I'm using guys for this particular setup is the Honda clan and the Honda clan it gives you a pretty substantial boost for uh, skill damage so anytime you perform an attack, uh, an attack based around a skill you're going to get 28% skill damage or roughly how um that, that will vary based on how long you've been in the uh, clan alright I didn't feel Totoyami was necessary for this particular setup because I'm still getting a pretty high amount of uh, health recovery when I'm using the Extraction Talisman along with the uh, melee attack rolled on my weapon. So, Alright guys, so uh, again, this is not really a super special build, you know, just basically showcasing overall damage output and survivability. Um, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you feel, you know, feel like you'd like to try it out, you know, tell me what you think. Um, leave any comments you have, negative, positive, don't matter. And uh, I'll get back to you guys later with another build. I'm working currently on a Kasaragama build as well, but I do not want to just drop that build right away because I still am looking for certain pieces for that one. So, But this is my current Katana setup, guys. And um, hey, man, you guys be safe out there. Catch you later.